Welcome back. This is Caitlin with Black Box Socks. Today's guest moderator has been trading for nine years and has been with Team Black Box for three years. Her name is Tia, and today she'll be sharing how she uses Black Box for momentum trading. Tia, are you ready? We're excited to hear what you have to say. Thank you, Caitlin. I'm excited to be here. Hey, y'all, this is Tia. I've been with Black Box Stocks for almost four years, and I'm going to make a quick video to show you how I use Black Box Stocks. Here's a fun fact. I was the very first moderator on the Black Box Stocks platform. Let's talk a little bit about my trading day. My trading day starts around 9 a.m. Though I almost never trade pre-market, the first thing I do is check the pre-market scanner, which is here. I like to isolate tickers by volume and price. I go over here and select tickers trading under $50. And the ones that have the most volume are the ones that generally go on my day trading watch list. This pre-market scanner has actually made me pretty lazy. I no longer do a nightly watch list because of it. Okay. And during pre-market, I'm checking both main chat and my chat room, which is pretty easy to find. So just toggle over here, select main chat, our live channels or my channel. Well, actually it's my channel. So I'm clicking on my channel and I'm just looking to see which stocks are being discussed most often. Um, and I add those to possible scouts at open. Um, another thing I look for um, before starting my trading day is yesterday's gainers. I simply do that by going to the gainer, the top 10 gainers, click on yesterday, um, take note of, of the tickers that moved the previous day for possible continuation plays. And right before open, I generally check to make sure that all of the filters are set to my individual preference within the charts and the alert stream. Um, my charts have volume, um, exponential moving average 7 and 12. And for the alert log, I like to filter using 52-week um, high, 52-week low, stock price, stock halts, and low floats. Set filters. So after I filter out my, my uh, specific parameters, I just scroll down to see what's in my price range, see if I like anything. Um, and then wait for open. One of the things that I absolutely love about Black Box is being able to click on a ticker and having a news feed automatically pop up. Okay, there's a hot alert. That that's that's another tool also that that's a game changer. So within the alert log, I can click on any ticker and the news will if there's news, it'll automatically pop up for me. And this actually Like for the one that was just halted, you see this red is letting us know that it was halted based on volatility. And this is the information that's there. So that's that's something that I utilize daily. Another feature that that's used is being able to go in, type whatever ticker at the top, and it pops up everything that's ever been said about that individual ticker. This is one that we've discussed extensively. So you'll see tons and tons of, of info on it. It's a great tool to have when trading. Um, it, it keeps me from having to go and do research because um, I can just see what the, what the traders in chat are saying about it, if there's news um, or anything like that. And before I go into my trading strategy, I just want you guys to understand how I trade and why. I use what I use. So the VI is what I call it, is the volatility indicator. Um, basically what it does is it measures price and momentum in real time. Um, so if the Dow is flat like it is here, that, moves, that means that price is moving at a normal pace with no defined direction. Um, when the Dow is moving towards the red area, um, it's more of a bearish movement or a bearish price movement. And towards green just means bullish, of course. That's a great tool to have. Um, 
personally, it assists me um, in showing strength of price, and it makes makes it easier for me to to access um, risk reward. I think this is is also helpful um, for new traders. Keeps out of keeps them from getting overwhelmed, and it removes um, a lot of the noise that you hear within the market. There are several ways to secure the bag using black box stocks. One of my favorite ways to get the bag is trading a retest of the 52 week high. And so basically what I do is, like I said, I, I filter the alert log to isolate 52 week highs by volume and price. Um, and the 52 week high is simply just when the price is at its highest price from 52 weeks ago. And this strategy is based on um, stocks breaking above the 52 week high after an initial break has been rejected. And for this, I use um, an e EMA combination of seven EMA and 12 EMA. And typically I use the daily um, chart because I like to see the, the whole picture. Every now and then I'll go out and change it to five minute or one minute, but I kind of like to drown out the noise. So I use the daily. Um, and basically what I'm looking for is after the 52 week high break has been rejected, I'm looking for the seven EMA to cross above the 12 EMA um, for my entry. So let's let's look at, let's take a stock that actually just, uh, let's go to the alert log. So the all symbols. 52 week high. Uh, let's go to one of, okay, MNTA. Okay, so here's MNTA. So 52 week high play. So here is the, here's what I would be looking for initially. I would be looking for this cross right here and then as it separates above is letting me know that it, that it's that it's rejected and it's going to pull back but how it separates tells me if the pullback is going to be strong or weak um, and i typically look for weak pullbacks which will give me continuation upward so i don't know if you guys can see where this crosses over right here but this is exactly what i'm looking for and you can look at the the pattern how it separates just a little bit so let's go to a different time frame so you guys can see it um on the five minute let's see if it's as clear see here it, it doesn't even have it crossing another reason why i don't i don't use it because this is where i'm determining my entry um and if we go back here the cross is clear right here. And that's where we, we're gonna, that would, that's what determines whether we potentially take position or not. And we look for it to separate and the separation of it is just showing me whether, how it separates just basically shows me if the, the pullback is weak or strong, I typically look for, for weak pullbacks so we can break above and make a new 52 week high. Um, also, this strategy um, is very useful when I'm trading multi-year breakouts. So once the 52 high is rejected, the retest comes and it breaks above, we generally enter multi-year breakout area. Um, and when trading the multi-year breakout, one of the, the key things to look at is the range that the price is trading in. That the price is trading in, you wanna be mindful of range. Um, so let's go look at one more ticker just so you guys have a clear picture. Um, let's go to the alert stream again. Scroll down a little to find another one that can give us a better, maybe a better view. Let's try EVER. Okay, so do we see this cross here? How it's crossing? Seven EMA is laying above the 12 EMA, and then it begins to separate here. 
So this is what we look for. And this, this would actually keep me out of this trade because the two EMAs are pretty far apart and that's not what I look for. But as they become closer, we will take position. But we will need it to cross in order for us to consider entry. But from this pullback here, as it begins to, as price begins to move, um, advance forward, it's the, the gap is closing just a little bit. So once that crosses, we get our position, we take our position. Okay, so let's go out of this one and tell you how we decide on exits when using this same strategy. Okay, so I actually know one that we were watching earlier. This is not a this is not a 52 week high play because the 52 week high was rejected on yesterday, but this is one um, that we actually just discussed in chat. Um, the 52 week high was rejected. As you can see, the the 12 EMA is above the seven, and we don't want to see that at all. Um, and even though price advances, it comes right back down and it rejects, and the rejection just sends it downward. And that's on the that's on the five minute. And we were just discussing this one in chat actually because um, there was a four sixty three entry and sold at four ninety seven. But that rejection right around here is where the exit came. So let's go out and I'll show you one more. Um, let's find another one. LTBR. Oh, there's almost no volume on that one. That's a low flow. That's not even a 52 week high. Well, yeah, it's a, but the volume is super low. Okay, I'm gonna be doing that one. Let's see, CG. I actually like this setup. The initial cross continues upward. Pullback is not, not strong or weak, but the pullback is there. And then the cross again as it continues upward. Another little small pullback. I actually really like this setup. This is setting up for a multi-year breakout. Let's let me go and see what the I can't go back that far. What the uh, three year is. That's another thing that I do. I always look at the one year and the three year so I can get an idea of how far um, the 52 week high is from the multi year. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's already on multi because it's broke above the three year high, too. That's pretty impressive. Why didn't I trade that one? Anywho. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I'm just looking for um, another stock that would give you guys a clear price spike. That would give you guys a clear visual of why I trade the 52 week high rejection. NTSX. Come out. Okay, NT X S S X. Yikes. Okay, this this setup isn't as clean. It crosses, crosses, pulls back, crosses. The price isn't really advancing. This wouldn't be one that I would trade um, because I want to go for the bigger gains, but this would give us a 52 week high scalp opportunity. A scalp opportunity is what they call it in chat. Um, yeah. So this would be a pretty decent scalp from the 52 week high um, rejection. It's just not one that I would take position on.
price is too close. And normally I'm studying these charts um, to make sure that that what I think I see is actually there because your eyes can be deceiving. Um, and that's another reason why I love black box stocks, simply because sometimes what I think I see, um, I'll second guess myself and I can always go to some of the experienced traders in chat and just get their insight to see what they think or if we see the same thing. Um, and that makes trading, that makes trading, my trading day so much easier having seasoned traders that you can go and converse with, share market ideas and insight with. Um, let's see. The, the main thing to, to take into consideration is when you're, when you're creating your strategy on this platform is make sure that you create a set of set rules for when each alert comes in because there's so many different types of alerts. Um, you have the hot alerts, 52 week lows, um, the OCT plays. You just have to make sure that you have a set of rules that you stick with um, and then you'll be successful. Pia, thank you so much for sharing how you trade 52 week high rejections. One more question before you go, and that is how does trading with black box stocks give you an advantage in the marketplace? How does black box stocks give me? Black box makes trading simple, easy, and most of all profitable. It's played a central role in helping me to become a successful day trader. It turns out day trading is not, a diff not as difficult when using black box stocks. Thank you, Tia, for sharing how you find range breakouts using black box stocks. From Team Black Box, this is Caitlin, and that's all we have for this video. Remember to click subscribe below to see more exciting trading videos just like this one. You can also become a new member with us by visiting our website, www.blackboxstocks.com. As a new member, you'll receive instant access to the trading charts, tools, and alerts that Tia mentioned today. Remember, no one trades alone at Black Box Stocks. See you next time.